here we grew 300 pounds of potatoes in one 100 foot bed let me show you the results of the harvest hi guys keith arkberg farms it's now second week of july We've got a nice cool week this week it's gonna get hot again not really worried about that but hey i've got my potato experiment they are done so it's time to pull them out and check and see what our yield is i can't wait so let me show you Don't forget arkbergfarms.com scroll down on the bottom digital tools and training tab down there bunch of cool stuff down there spreadsheets and other exclusive videos we also have our side openers the uh, actuator as well um, we also got spots there to reserve consulting as well and working with a couple great people this season really helped them out a lot and kind of getting them to where they need to be on their farm uh, go check it out now if you all recall oh let's see about two and a half months ago I planned these potatoes I did a test these two beds i've got uh corollas and red new orleans here i did a super intensive planting i did uh six inches in row six inches in between the row inside of both these beds so there's two lines of potatoes running down each of these beds i did a video intensive potatoes go over to my channel check it out or just look it up on youtube it'll ping it right away so now we're going to find out what the results of that are and see what the yield is I've also got another bed down here that I just single rode on six inches. I'll do a pull on that too and kind of see. Those have just started to dry down because I plan it about two or three weeks later. But we're gonna go ahead, got the tractor out, and go and start pulling these potatoes. Now we got the Woodward Crossing Wonder Bar module attachment on the back. Great product. Um, allows you to switch out a two inch toolbar. I have specific toolbars that I keep stuff on. This is my potato and ripper. Got the rippers up here, got my potato there, and then I can throw my hillers on both sides, which are just discs to push it in. Uh, we actually hilled these potatoes twice, once at about eight inches and then once at about six inches above the ground. Really helped out the weed suppression, as you can see behind me, it's almost a completely barren bed. Did not do anything to it. Potatoes died off and that's actually what it looked like. So I'm very happy. Can't wait to get in here and see what they look like. We're gonna go down the uh, Corollas first and that'll be the one we're due. I'm only going to do a test plow of this. It's still just a little bit wet, but I really, really, really want to see what the yield is. Tomorrow I'll actually bring the crew in and have them help out and get all these potatoes out of here. And hopefully, 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 we have a really, really good yield. And if we do, I can't wait to see it. So I just did 20 foot of bed because I want to kind of get a bearing of what the yield's going to be. And I'm really, really happy with what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of B-sized potatoes, which are your middle ones, and they appear to be everywhere. Let me turn you around and show you what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing really, really good yield in here. Very hard to walk next to this because I've got carrots in the bed next to it that come out next week. And nice looking clusters of potatoes like that they're also mixed into the side so i'm going to have to do a little bit of fishing to dig them out like i said i'm really really digging what i'm seeing here got the sun right there in my eyeballs right now but hey now for the true test i'm going to take them throw them in this harvest toad i got right here and see what kind of yield we got and hopefully it is what i'm hoping but we'll see and go in and wait in the pack house when i'm done So this right here is seven, about seven, seven and a half feet of potatoes. I've got a half of a tote here, probably close to 10 or 15 pounds. We'll go in and check when we get in there. But I already know I'm going to have to go get in our tote. And when I time lapse me doing that, it's going to be super slow. So I'll run it really quick on the uh, additional part of this bed. But I'm really loving what I'm seeing. That's about the biggest potato I've found so far. But most of them 
are these little small ones. These are your B size. This is exactly what I want. This is what our customers love. They want that nice little small potato, even like this is bigger, but it's thin around. No real damage to them. Uh, you did see me digging around quite a bit. It's so one disadvantage of a potato plow and not having an actual like potato digger type device is that they get hidden in the sides because I've got two rows of them, so I've got to hit them both. They get hidden in the stuff that comes up. If it's a little drier, it'd move them more up to the top. And they're also in the bottom of the hole. So you really have to do a lot of searching. Um, you could use a fork or something else. But you know, this is quick. Once I'm in here, all I gotta do is pull them up and then just keep going. So I'm gonna set you back there and we'll just, uh, Make this go real quick and then we'll go weigh them. Okay, that worked pretty well. Nice B-sized potatoes. I did get one actually big baker. The rest are all nice little hand size. Time to go in, weigh them, and see what our harvest total is. And the total is... We got 70 pounds with the totes, and I know this floor scale is off by about 7 or 8 pounds at that 70 pound mark so that means we basically have 70 pounds of potatoes out of 20 bed foot now i will tell you that is super awesome out of 20 foot and we got roughly 70 pounds of potatoes i know some of the water will wash off and they'll dry a little but still that's almost well bag and a half of potatoes on a 50 pound sack so that is just awesome for that kind of yield we're pushing probably one and three quarters pound of bed. I'd have to, or bed foot. I'd have to do the math, but all in all, that's awesome. Did not see any damage. I had one sliced in half, and I know there's more potatoes in there because there were two beds in there next to each other, and the potato plow kind of wiggled as it went. So I'll go back through and I'll pull through a couple more times, and I'll actually bring them up to the top as the uh, soil actually starts to dry. It is still just a little wet out there, so. The soil is really sticking to them, so I kind of had to rub it off as I went. And they didn't just like flow up to the top like you usually get. But all in all, pretty awesome. Um, I'll keep shooting as we harvest the rest of these, because usually the yellow potatoes yield half as much as the red potatoes. So I'll be really, really excited to see what we get off the red potatoes. Those are New Orleans reds. And if it looks right, you'll catch me at the end of this video. But I'm going to guess we're going to get two and a half to three pounds of bed foot, no problem. Even maybe, I hate to say four, but that would be awesome if we did. So we'll get to that and I'll show you as we harvest. Uh, we're going to do the rest tomorrow with the crew. So it'll be awesome. So if I just got 70 pounds off of 20 feet, those are 82 foot beds. So let's just call them 80. So that's seven times four, which is 200. And 80 pounds off of a 90 foot well 90 foot 82 foot bed so that is just crazy i've got two of them out there we might have five to seven hundred pounds of potatoes and we'll check that out right now so it took about oh four days worth of a couple hour days to harvest all of them but here's what i got a lot of potatoes very very good amount in here now it's time to go through and do the final weigh-in and see what our harvest total was. There you have it. I got my final tally up. We got about 500 pounds of potatoes off of two 82-foot beds. So about 250 pounds of each. It came out about the same with the Red New Orleans and the uh, Corollas. Uh, Red Northern is a little bigger. The Corolla is a perfect B size. That actually comes down to around three pounds a foot. So I think I really, really achieved what I was trying to do with the intensive potato method. Usually you get back about two pounds per foot. We got three, which is just awesome, great. That's really what I was shooting for. Um, if you want to check out the video I plan, look up intensive potatoes. Should ping it through YouTube. If not, also search my channel. Did it about three months ago when we planned these. 
So all in all, I'd say it's a success. I got a packed free refrigerator. It's my modified homemade Coolbot one. Um, homemade Coolbot, another video I did. Light bulb, chicken timer or chicken heater thing. But yeah, works great. Uh, air conditioner froze up on me a couple times, taking all the moisture out of the potatoes. But either way, it doesn't matter. I've got it up and running. We're running good. We're going to cure these for two weeks at around 50-ish degrees, and then we'll take them down to our final storage point, which is around 40, 45. Uh, this thing fluctuates five degrees up or down, so give or take. So, as always, hope you all like your Saturday. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all. Have a good day.